Hello, people. This is my second time. I need to really get a tripod if I'm going to do this, but um, hopefully I'm going to try not to cut the camera off again. Basically, I'm fixing um, corn and potato chowder. My ingredients are corn. I'm going to have to cut that off the cob, and I do have one of these. Um, they're very sharp, so it slices the corn. It's not a potato peeler. It's um, for corn to get the corn off the cob if you want to use fresh corn. This is two russet potatoes. I'm about to dump this in the pot um, so it can come to a boil, but I used two russet potatoes and diced it into small pieces. I used a shallot, one green pepper, and a garlic clove, and I diced the garlic clove. Um, you're going to use half and half shredded carrots, a tablespoon of butter. Um, you got your bacon. that You're going to crumble that up and put it on at the end. Um, I'm use, You need four cups of um, chicken stock. I'm going to use eight cups because I make big pots. This is my chicken stock. Um, this is eight cups of chicken stock with diced um, peppers, uh, shallot, um, diced peppers, a diced shallot, what else? And uh, a garlic. And then um, you're going to use flour, black pepper, cayenne pepper, Italian seasoning, and I might throw in some roasted garlic seasoning. So let me put these peppers in and I'll be right back. I mean these potatoes in and I will be right back. So how long I'm back. So basically how we're going to get this started is um, you're going to start off by putting a tablespoon of your butter in the pot, letting it melt, and then putting your bacon in. I used five pieces of bacon. You let the bacon cook. After you take your bacon out, you put it on your paper towel. What you're going to do is um, you're going to add your peppers, your onions, or shallots. I use shallots because um, I like the flavor that it gives, but you can use onions or shallots, whatever you want. But I put my pepper my shallots in, I let it get soft, and I added some um, pepper, some black pepper. I seasoned it with black pepper and, uh, sea, and sea salt, I believe it is. And this is the type of salt that I use. Let me get it out. This is the type of salt that I use. And so, um, I stirred it up and just let it get soft, and then once it gets soft, I added my, my minced garlic. I just used the one garlic clove. It was a nice big garlic clove. Mixed it up. Let that cook down for another minute, two minutes, because I'm doing it in this pot and it was on really low. Um, once I cooked that down, I added four tablespoons of the flour. The recipe calls for two, but as you see, I'm making a double batch, so I added four tablespoons of flour you mix it up and then once you mix it up the flour and uh, your vegetables up you pour in your chicken stock you mix it up and then you let it come to a boil so that is the part where I'm at now where I added my potatoes you add your potatoes to your chicken stock and your um vegetables which is your pepper onion or shallots and garlic and you let it come to a boil because the potatoes need to get soft you can use any type of potato that you want um, I chose to use russet potatoes you saw how I cut it now I'm about to cut these um, this corn off the cob into this because um, at the end of the Let's see. At the end of the recipe, that's where, you know, once the once the potatoes come to a boil and they get soft, um, you add the shredded carrots and the corn. So that's going to be a little while. And then you cover that and let it simmer for five to six minutes or longer to blend the flavors. Then after that, you add in your half and half. Season with thyme, cayenne pepper, 
salt and lots of fresh ground black pepper to taste. I'm going to just use the black pepper that I have. And then you season with your parsley, your bacon bits, and it's good to go. But as I go through the steps, I will come back and show you each of the steps. So I'm just at the step where I'm boiling my potatoes with my uh, peppers, shallot, and garlic. And um, with my chicken stock, mixed in with my chicken stock. So I will be back soon. Hello, hello, hello again. So this is the corn that was on the cob that I um, cut off with my corn cutter right here, which is um, what I showed you, what this is. And I used five ears of corn. As I said, I'm making a big pot, so um, I always, you know, I just kind of make each recipe my own. I'm gonna use this whole 10 ounce bag of carrots. So you have to dump this in now because um, basically, as you can see, it's boiling. The potatoes are soft. So I'm gonna use this whole bag of carrots. This is a 10 ounce bag. It says the recipe calls for a cup and a half. Um, again, since I'm making double, I just use the whole 10 ounce. And I'll be right back. Let me just dump this in here before I make a complete mess. So here's um, everything mixed up. The carrot, shredded carrots, the corn is in here. Um, I'm going to let this sit for another six, seven minutes. And then I'm going to come back and add the rest of my ingredients, which is my um, half and half. I'm going to use two cups, hopefully two cups of fit in here. Um, and then I'm going to season it up some more with some more pepper and cayenne pepper and my Italian seasoning. And then I'll be back with the final, you know, showpiece. Be back soon. So here we are back again to add the final touches to this now. This is pro. <laughs> We're gonna be to the tippy top. Look at that. <laughs> so I just poured my half and half in here, which is a uh, I'm trying to stir this without spilling it because as you can see is to the tippy top. I know I should have used my bigger pot, but basically everything is done. I just got to add my half and half and stir it up and the rest of my little seasonings. It's, it's not that thick. I don't know. I have to, this is my first time making it, so I got to play around with the flour portion. I probably it was thick with the just the chicken stock, but what is what I added the um half and half it didn't it doesn't seem so thick. And I do always put bay leaves in my soups. So um it just gives it nice flavor as well. But it's your choice, you don't have to, but I do. So let me taste this. Let me see how it tastes. Tastes good. So now I'm going to add my thyme. I'm going to add my Italian seasoning. It says parsley, but I'll just add a little Italian. I don't have any parsley. I know it should be some parsley in there. I'm going to add my cayenne pepper. Give it a bit of a kick. Then you 
stir it all in. And I'm stirring with my left hand if the camera seems to be a bit off. See that? And so I did chop up my bacon. What I did was, uh, because I didn't feel like chopping it up with, um, it's spilling over. Because I didn't feel like chopping it up with a knife. And um, I would get more out of it. I um, put it in my Nutribullet. And just, you know, let it go for a couple of seconds. And it's really fine. So it's not going to be like the little squares of bacon bits. You know, it's going to be. But it, it all eats the same, so... This is pretty much it. I wish it had been a tad bit thicker once I added the half and half to it. I think next time I'm going to use it with heavy whipping cream like I do with my other um, bisques. But um, it does taste good. So. I will be back with it, you know, in a bowl so you can see how it looks. So basically this is the final product. This is my son's plate. I did add a little um, shredded um, cheese to it, marble cheese. This is it. This is the, um, the bacon. I shredded up in the Nutribullet. So basically, this is it. Where my shot? A little salad, a little salad. So, um, enjoy. She wants to give a shout out. Peace, you too. Crab, corn, chowder is here. Peace.